Welcome to Luanda, the capital city of Angola, known to be Angola's major industrial and urban center. But did you know Luanda is one of the wealthiest cities in Africa? Despite being one of the most expensive cities in the world, Luanda has a growing middle class, and the city is home to many wealthy individuals and families. The city's wealth is fueled by its oil industry, which accounts for over 90% of Angola's exports. Angola has overtaken Nigeria as the largest oil producer in Africa, and it's currently the top oil producing country on the continent, serving as a significant contributor of crude oil to the global market. Many multinational oil companies have set up their headquarters in Luanda, which has led to a high demand for skilled workers and a rise in salaries. The wealth in Luanda is also visible in its luxurious lifestyle. The city has some of the most expensive real estate in Africa, and there are many luxury hotels, high-end restaurants and shopping malls. Luanda's wealth is a symbol of the country's progress and potential. With the right policies and investments, Angola has the potential to become one of Africa's leading economies, and Luanda could become a hub for innovation, technology, and entrepreneurship. Despite this, the distribution of wealth in Luanda is highly unequal, and there's a stark contrast between the rich and poor. The wealthy live in gated communities and mansions, while the poor live in slums and shanty towns, the government has been criticized for not doing enough to tackle poverty and inequality in the city. Let's take a closer look at Luanda's history and development. During the 16th century, Luanda was established by Portuguese explorer Paulo Dias de Novae in 1576, which was initially populated by Portuguese settlers. The Portuguese constructed Fortaleza São Pedro da Barra, followed by two additional fortresses. Luanda functioned as the center of the slave trade to Brazil. Most of the slave trade was carried out with the Portuguese colony of Brazil, and the Brazilian ships were the most numerous in the port of Luanda. In the 19th century, still under Portuguese rule, Luanda experienced a major economic revolution. The slave trade was abolished in 1836, and in 1844, Angola's ports were opened to foreign shipping. Over time, Luanda became one of the greatest and most developed Portuguese cities exporting palm and peanut oil, timber, cotton, coffee, cocoa, and many other products. By the time Angola gained its independence in 1975, the city of Luanda was a well-developed urban area. The majority of its people were African, but it was controlled by a significant minority of white Portuguese. Following the Carnation Revolution in Lisbon on April 25, 1974, which marked the beginning of Angola's independence and the onset of the Angolan Civil War, a significant number of white Portuguese residents in Luanda became refugees. Most of them migrated to Portugal, but some also traveled overland to South Africa. The Cuban soldiers who were sent to aid the MPLA government during the Angolan Civil War were highly skilled technicians. They were able to make a valuable contribution to restoring and maintaining basic services in the city. At the end of the Civil War in 2002, a significant reconstruction was initiated because of high economic growth rates fueled by the wealth generated from the rising production of oil and diamonds. Today, Luanda has become one of the world's most expensive cities and one of the fastest growing cities in Africa. Moreover, it stands as the second largest diamond producer in Africa, while its port is a significant trading center in the area. In conclusion, Luanda's history and wealth are closely intertwined, with the city's prosperity driven by its natural resources and strategic location. While the city has faced many challenges over the years, its people have shown remarkable resilience and determination to build a better future for themselves.